So, year before last, we bought this 2003 four horse Merlot horse trailer. We picked it up in Indiana and then had it brought out here. We had been looking for one here in Utah for quite a while and we just couldn't find anything that was in our price bracket. So we decided we'd look further afield and we found this one in Indiana. And even with paying for shipping out here, it still saved us about $6,000. So if you're looking for a deal on a good horse trailer and it's not in your area, just look further afield and then price it out. But because it was winter time, it was February, uh, things were slow everywhere and we found this one. We weren't looking for one with the living quarters, but we found this one has got a small living quarters. So it's got, you know, water, hot water heater, it's got a small fridge, electrical, uh, inside the living quarters and a nice queen size bed with good ventilation and lots of covered space. So I'll show you the different features that we found. So here's where the bed is over what would be the truck area. It's got a one propane bottle, a battery, and our spare tire here with a gooseneck coupling for our truck. And we really love the weight over the rear axle and the gooseneck. One, we can put it into all kinds of different spots very simply because it's got a lot of turning radius and we can tuck the truck actually right under this spot here and be at 90 degree angle. So really great that way. Nice big window with a vent uh, in the roof and then the four horse this is the butt side of the four horse trailer these windows slide open they don't drop down like the other side a couple of places to hook your ho two horses up and then we had them put a rack up on top it cost us an extra eighteen hundred dollars but it's certainly worth it to have the dealer do it and they gave us a good uh, deal on it and then it had with it this awning here that spans from over the door almost all the way back to the end so we've had that open and it's a great asset to have that's the vent there for the water heater let's go inside screen door and it has a little pull out step on it that we can use So here's the bed area that I was talking about. It's nice and big, and it's got a window on each side. Covered space above it with a light. Covered space on the driver's side. More covered space on the passenger side. That's just a rug there that we have that we can put out. It's an indoor-outdoor. We can put down for when we get in. Bed's a little messy. Great covered space. They had a TV previous owners here. We're going to take that out. We certainly don't need it. No one put a covered door on there. There's the two burner stove. Propane. Sink. We still have to fully dewinterize it. Under here is our water tank. A couple of drawers fridge just a small one but it runs off propane AC and DC so we're really lucky there switch for the water pump and that's for the hot water heater so it's automatically comes on another drawer under here nice big hanging closet in here there's our breaker box and down there is the hot water heater. Fire extinguisher, light switches, safety alert, fire alert. This is really great. So we have a walkthrough here. So if we want to come in here, there's an escape door right here in the first stall. And then 
the device is simply a cam lock here that open up so it's got a butt bar there and whenever we're hauling horses even if it's just one up in the very front stall we'll still put that across rear door you can see it's very very spacious and there we're looking back into the living quarters the windows on the head side all drop down and have bars and this is kind of a neat little shower system there there's a shower head in there and you can see here two holders and we have a metal bar that goes around and hooks into each side and forms a loop and you put a shower curtain there so you can use that with a hot water heater and there's simply a hole in the floor here as you can see where the water will drain out so we do have a shower no toilet but that's okay we're not uh, really needing that we put a little porta potty in here there you can see there's a you open up the emergency door there we have a, a bar across there as well so we'll go outside and we'll show you the tap room but it's very very spacious it has lights everywhere you can see one for each stall there is a vent for every stall as well you can see them up here double ties up there so when we put a horse in let's say the horse is in this stall here we'll run the rope up through the first one or the second the second one depending on which horse it is shut the gate and then tie them to the next stall over that means that you're shutting the gate on your horse and then tying them and when you go to take them out you simply unhook this one here where the rope's tied you can open the gate but you still have them threaded through that hook there and you can control them that way especially as they're learning to ride in a trailer and whatnot we have two young horses in training so that's a great benefit to have so we have a removable tack room here and we have our young horses we typically remove this it's got four places for saddles and each piece comes out so our horses will go in with the tack room in place but if we want to saddle them and put them in we have to remove it or take the saddles off because as they're going in there's a good chance they'll get their cinch breast collar rear cinch caught on this one piece here so we don't take a chance on that we simply don't saddle them when we have this tack room in place but to remove everything you just lift up on this spring loaded bolt top and bottom take out the saddle rack take out this middle partition here and then this wall actually folds up nice and tight here which gives us a full open area to bring our horses in and out and that was really important working with these two young horses one which was uh, two years old when we started working with them in this particular trailer he did really well in our two horse trailer but this is different it's higher off the ground and it is bigger so I think that helped them as well and then it has plenty of places for hanging bridles halters and all that kind of stuff and then a couple of bars for blankets or saddle pads that type of thing this rear window simply slides open and in here you can see the lights up there the windows the butt windows that slide open there's lots of room in this and the fact that these dividers aren't solid we feel really helps our horses they get to see everything they don't feel as claustrophobic because horses are claustrophobic so these bars make it really easy for them and then the windows drop down if we want them to and they slide open 
and I'll show you that here. There's the ladder that goes up to our rack and we'll be putting a, a water uh, barrel up there with the hose down and then a some sort of a large toolbox, metal toolbox that we can lock up to keep other gear up there as well. Might even put a small generator up there and lock it in so that we would have one tent. So these windows, really nice. They just drop down. The bars do come with them, as you can see. And uh, with one horse that we have, uh, he likes to come in and put his head out immediately. So we just leave this down so he can do that. And when we're ready to travel, simply flip it back up. But there's this slide on the window as well. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you're looking for you know, something like this or could be any kind of trailer or any kind of piece of machinery or vehicle, uh, there's a lot of places where it's a depressed economy and people are looking to sell things and there isn't uh, much of a need for them out there or demand for them. So we got this, like I said, even with pain about $1,500 to have it brought out. We still saved about six grand on it. And they guaranteed everything. They had been over everything. In fact, when we were looking, the sales gal in the middle of a snowstorm came out, videotaped the whole thing, and even lifted the mats in the back to show us the floorboards and everything else and went over every single detail. And they couldn't have been better to work with. They were just uh, such great people. So if you enjoyed this video, if you would click on the like button below, I'd sure appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave those in the section below as well. And I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you want to know when we've got new videos coming up and what we're doing currently, just go ahead and subscribe and you'll be informed if you hit that bell button, it'll send you a notification as well. So hope you enjoyed the video. You have a wonderful night.